historic night widens gap in NBA MVP race. James Harden's transcendent Tuesday didn't just end with his name etched on yet another page in the NBA's record books. It widened the gap between him and the rest of the league's MVP hopefuls. With the injured Chris Paul and Trevor Ariza watching from the sidelines and Eric Gordon joining them for the remainder of the game in the second quarter, one could have predicted Harden's season-high 30 shots. But accompanied by 60 points on 19 makes, 63.3%, a near-perfect night at the charity stripe, 17 for 18, 11 assists, 10 rebounds and 4 steals all while leading his Houston Rockets past the Orlando Magic for their sixth win in seven games? That's unheard of. By anyone in NBA history. Spanning 71 seasons. What's more, it came on a night where those in his rear view made no push to pass. Russell Westbrook shot 5 for 18 and his Oklahoma City Thunder fell to the John Wall-less Washington Wizards. Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant combined for just 31 points as their Golden State Warriors were romped by the Utah Jazz. LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers fell again, this time to the Detroit Pistons, who entered the game on an NBA worst eight-game losing streak. And then there was Harden, cruising comfortably ahead of the field and showing no signs of slowing down. USA Today Sports Weekly NBA MVP Rankings as voted on by Sam Amick, Jeff Zilgent, Michael Singer and Ajnu Harthkus, are below. Last week's ranking, not ranked season stats, 25.5 points, 10.1 assists, 9.4 rebounds, 2.0 steals, 44.4% shooting Tuesday night's loss marked the first in nine games for the Thunder, who boast the second best record in the NBA, 16-6 since December 17, trailing only Golden State. They also have the league's top offensive rating, 113.3 points per 100 possessions, during that span. Westbrook has once again led the charge, turning his early season struggles into a brand of basketball deserving of a spot in the MVP conversation. Last week's ranking, number 5, tie season stats, 28.5 points. 10.3 rebounds, 4.7 assists, 1.5 steals, 54.8% shooting and Tecampo, who has played in three of the four games, all wins, since Joe Prunty took over for Jason Kidd, is averaging 33 points, on 57.4% shooting, 13.3 rebounds and 7 assists under his new head coach. We are just playing harder, trusting one another. And to count Poset after his 31 point, 18 rebound outing in Monday's win over Philadelphia. We are just having fun and playing hard. Last week's ranking, number 4 season stats 27.7 points, 6.5 assists, 5.1 rebounds, 1.6 steals, 49.4% shooting Tuesday night's game, 14 points on 4 for 13 shooting, was a rarity for Curry while Saturday night's, 49 points on 16 for 24 shooting in a win over Boston, was another reminder why he and the Warriors have been the greatest show in basketball over these past four seasons. Last week's ranking, number 3 season stats, 25.6 points, 6.9 rebounds, 5.6 assists, 2.0 blocks. 50.6% shooting the same that said for Curry can be said for Durant, who had 17 points on 5 for 13 shooting in the loss. In fact, it was his first game this season, and just his fifth since joining this super team two summers ago, scoring 17 points or fewer while shooting below 40%. Last week's ranking, number 2 season stats, 26.7 points, 8.8 .8 assists, 7.9 rebounds, 1.6 steals. 54.9% shooting the Cavaliers continue to falter, four games out of eighth place in the East and six games out of first, and there's no light to be seen at the end of the tunnel. Now that Kevin Love could be sidelined for the next month with a broken bone in his left hand, James, whose play has dipped of late, must shoulder more of the burden than he already was. Last week's ranking, number one season stats, 31.6 points. 9.1 assists, 5.0 rebounds, 
1.9 steals, 44.9% shooting Did we mention that Harden's 60 points were the most in Rockets history and that he sealed the victory with a 4-point play in the final minute? That was a heck of a performance, Magic coach Frank Vogel said. When your second, third and fourth options are out, the likely MVP of this year's season did what he had to do to get a win. That was pretty special. Follow USA Today Sports at New Harthkus on Twitter at TweetHank.